All right, so 1B, order of operations. Um, does anybody know the order of operations? Like, what does that word PEMDAS mean? Let's pick on, oh, oh, do you know what that word means? PEMDAS? Um, isn't it? I feel like you... I know, but like I... Do you know any of those letters? Yeah, I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I don't... What if I started you out and said, peace to the court. Parentheses. Um, yeah, parentheses. So these are the two examples of parentheses. Now, Hope, do you think you could tell me what E stands for? Evaluate. Not evaluate, it's another E. X. Uh, what if I said exponents? Is it starting to come back to you? All right, so E stands for exponents. All right, these are like these little numbers, like two, three, four, all right? Those are exponents. And then is M multiply? It is. Then, M is multiplication? What? It's multiplication, as you said. These look like we're going to get away from the X and we're really going to move into dots. Okay. But that's multiplication. Or what does D stand for? Division. Division. All right. And these are going to be slashes, fraction bars, or the divide sign. And I stick away or try to steer away from the divide sign. Because on a computer, sometimes it looks like a plus sign. And the last but not least, addition or subtraction. And these are your plus and minuses. So order of operation is best known as PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This is a great thing, but it's also an awful thing at the same time because, and none of you are gonna make this mistake, but kids will look at, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, and they'll say M comes before D, so multiplication always comes before division. And same thing with addition and subtraction. A comes before S, so they'll say A, uh, the addition comes before subtraction. And that's not always the case. It's multiplication or division, addition or subtraction when you're working from left to right. So when we do number one, it says 13 minus eight plus three. And most kids will say, all right, well, let me look at the eight plus three that <coughs> And then they'll do 13 minus 11 and they'll get two. And that's not how we do this. So here, because the subtraction comes before addition, we're going to do the 13 minus 8, and we get 5. And then we do plus 3, and we get 8. All right, now I'm going to move this up. Oh. Eve. Yeah. Do you know what two to the fourth power is? That's 16. 16, because that's two times two, that's four times two, that's eight times two is 16. So with this problem, we're going to start with the exponent. So we're going to write our work out. So 16 times four minus two divided by eight. Who wants to tell me what's next? Multiplication is next because it goes PEMDAS. Okay. 
So 16 times 4 is 64 minus 2 divided by 8. Now, Nate, what's the next operation? What would you say? Um, division. I mean. You were right. Division. Yeah. Do you happen to know what 2 divided by 8 is? It's okay if you don't because it's a decimal. Um, no. All right. Point two. Close. Point two, and then there's five. another number. Point two five. Now you could write it as a fraction and write it as one fourth, but I like point two five better because this makes more sense to you guys. Doing sixty four minus one fourth that can be a little tricky, but sixty four minus point two five is sixty three point seven five. Thanks, Nate. All right, Maya, what operation would I do first for number three? Exponent. Yeah, exactly right. We're gonna do the exponent. So three squared is nine. So we have two times three squared, which is nine plus four. What would we do next? Add. Would we multiply or add? So if you're a little confused, that's okay. Just look back up and please excuse my dear Aunt Sally and see which letter comes first. What did you say, Maya? Said multiply. Oh, that is correct. I'm glad you said it a little angrily because I was probably being mean or rude or something. I appreciate it. I need to be put in my place sometimes. So don't be afraid to do that. Here we go. Two times nine is 18 plus four. And Drew, what's 18 plus four? 22. 22. Now, Michael Jordan's number? No, Michael Jordan's number 23. Is he? Oh, it was one off. Oh. All right. Here we go. Let's look at the next one, number four. And Matt. You there, Matt? Matt? Hello. Hi. I'm really glad you could join us this morning. Yeah. Can you tell me what operation I do first? The six times two. Six times two, do you know what that is? 12. Then what do I do? Matt, do you happen to know what to do here? And it's okay to say you're confused. Well, I don't know, because you can't divide nine. Ah, thank you. I'm really glad you pointed that out and said you can't really divide here, and you're right. We can't divide here because the division bar is separating the top and bottom. It's actually acting like parentheses. So what you need to do is you need to do 12 plus 2, that's 14. And then 9 minus 7, that's 2. So you have to treat the top and the bottom like two separate problems. And then you get 14 over 2, which is 7. Thank you, Matt. All right, I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds to do problem number 5 and problem number 6. All right, that's one lap around my room, and then I'll be back. Got to get them steps in. All right. 
Okay, let's go with Here. Emma, what'd you get for the first one? So number five, Emma. Sorry. Four? Very good. Ten minus four is six. And then we have the divide by three. And the two is outside. Six divided by three is two. And two times two is four. And Kanye, what did you get for six? Kanye, are you there, buddy? All right, let's go to Jordan. Jordan, what'd you get for number six? Oh boy. Liam? Didn't get there yet. What did you get for number six? I didn't get there yet. Oh, you did? Okay. Um, Delaney, did you get number six? Um, negative 33. Okay. How'd you get negative 33? Um, six times negative three. Okay, what'd you get for that? Negative 18. Okay. Let me erase that. All right, then what'd you do? Two plus negative 18. What'd you get? Negative 16. Okay. Now what? Uh, negative three times negative 16. Okay. Do you know what that is? Negative 48. Okay. Just so 48. Is it negative 48 or positive 48? Positive. Yeah. So you see where you went wrong there? Yeah. You told me everything right, but you wrote down negative 48. So the answer is actually 63. But I'm, I'm more excited that you got all the, the steps correct than the answer. The answer doesn't mean much to me. So nice job on that. All right, let's turn the page. All right, on the back side, on the back side, there are six problems. I'm gonna give you five minutes. So my clock says 8.01. So I'm gonna give you guys to like 8.06, 8.07, okay? I want you to do those six problems and then I'm gonna go through them and then we're done.
All right. Do you guys have enough time to get it done? Seems like a plan. Let's go with AJ Queen. AJ, what'd you get for number one? Two plus five times six minus 20. AJ, you there, buddy? All right. Uh, Sophia, what'd you get for number one? I got no, I got two. You got two? Yes. Problem number two or like two for? No, I got two for number one. Okay, so what did you do first in number one? Um, I did five times six. What would you get for that? 30. All right. Then what? Um, and then I did um, two plus 30. And I did, yeah, minus, and then I did that, 32 minus 20, and I got two. So, you sure it's two? 32 minus 20. Oh my God. 12. 12. Wow. It's okay. It's a Friday. I'm sorry. Like, no, don't be sorry. Do you know how many times I've done that? Holy God. I make so many mistakes every day. No, I'm a Thank you. For any of them. Right. All right. Let's go. Or Sean, you in here, buddy? Mackenzie, are you in here? Can you hear me? Yeah. What'd you get for number two? 26. Okay, 26. So you did what first? I multiplied 13 and two. And you got? 26. And then what? And then I divided negative five and five. Uh, is that a division sign? Yeah. Uh, it looks like a plus sign on my screen. Yep, you're right. Okay, so let me change that on my board. Okay. And then I got negative one plus All right. one. And then I think it's easy to see that those cancel and you're just left with 26. Good shot. Thank you. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it, guys, if your mic's not working. Thanks for letting me know. All right, let's go with um let's go with Nate. Nate, did you happen to get number three? Um, was it 62? I don't know. What'd you do first? Um, at first I did, I found four to the second power, minus nine. Okay, so you got 16 minus nine. 16 minus nine, is that, what is that? Seven. Oh, okay. And then six times seven, that's 42, that's easy. So you said 62, right? Yeah. I agree. Nice job. Um, Sophia Kender, can you hear me? All right, let's go to, does anybody want to answer number four? I'll answer it. All right, what do you got? I got two. You got two? I mean, one. One. So two negatives make a positive. So that would be 18 plus two. 
And I'm just going to do five times four, that's 20. And you can see 20 over 20 is one. Nice job. Who did that? Uh, Matt. Matt. Thank you, Matt. All right, for the sake of time, we have 11 minus six, that's five. I think that says plus, right? Looks like a plus. Oh, nope, divide. So it says five divided by one times 10. Well, five times 10 is 50. So I got 50 for number five. And then for number six, we're gonna start all the way inside, all the way right there. So I have 40 minus two bracket two, and then that's plus 18. Because negative nine times negative two is positive 18. Now I'm going to do two plus 18. That's 20. 40 minus 40 is zero. I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. That's it.